Hey guys, Nash here from CryptoU and today we're going to be taking a look at the recent hack of the NFT platform OpenSea. On Saturday, attackers stole hundreds of NFTs from OpenSea users causing late night panic among sites broad user base. A spreadsheet compiled by blockchain security service PickShield counted 254 tokens stolen over the course of the attack including tokens from Decentraland, Board Ape Yard Club, with the bulk of the attacks taking place between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Molly White, who runs the blog Web3 is doing great, is estimated the value of the stolen tokens at more than 1.7 million. In case you've been living under a rock and you don't know what OpenSea is, OpenSea is the most popular peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for buying and selling NFTs, making it a juicy target for attackers who want to hijack people's cryptocurrency or NFTs or perhaps sell them for a profit. The NFT marketplace with everything for everyone is its website reads. Valued at $13 billion in recent funding round, OpenSea has become one of the most valuable companies of the NFT boom providing a simple interface for users to list, browse, and bid on tokens without interacting directly with the blockchain. That success has come with significant security issues as the company has struggled with attacks that leverage old contracts or poison tokens to steal users' valuable holdings. OpenSea was in the process of updating its contract system when the attack took place. But OpenSea has denied that the attack originated from the new contracts. Relatively small number of targets makes such a vulnerability unlikely, since any flaw in the broader platform would likely be exploited at a far greater scale. Still, many details of the attack remain unclear, particularly the method of the attack used to get targets to sign half-empty contracts. Writing on Twitter shortly after 3 a. Eastern Time OpenSea CEO Devon Seth. The attackers had not originated from OpenSea's website, its various listing systems, or any emails from the company. The rapid pace of the attack, hundreds of transactions in a matter of hours, suggests that someone common of the vector attack, but so far no link has been discovered. Okay, now back to the hack. What actually happened? Around 30 days ago, a hacker uploads a new smart contract. You can see on this image, highlighted in red, he already knows well that his goal is to get as many signatures as possible. He most likely achieved this using phishing emails to get signatures. An important tip is always to make sure that you're interacting with the correct URL, either OpenSea.io or whatever platform you're currently on. Hackers most likely use similar names, maybe with a slight spelling error. Always verify your URL. You start sending emails with phishing websites. They tell it to sign a message slash log in or migrate to the new OpenSea smart contract. Now, to put this in context, OpenSea has recently mentioned that they are going to be moving to this new contract and all NFTs must be migrated. All the users know about this. That's what makes this phishing scam very successful. Instead of signing Instead of signing in, you're signing a private sale of zero Ethereum of your NFTs to the attacker. Today, he executes the transaction or the smart contract function to steal NFTs before their listings expire. He can do that because he has your signature stored on his server. As a final note, always check what you are signing before you click and make a decision. Now, to protect yourself from hacks like this in the future, let's just jump into the screen real quick and I can show you an easier way of how to revoke certain accesses to your MetaMask wallet that you may have done so unwillingly or unknowingly. Alright guys, now that we are in the um, Eat the scan. This is a token approval checker. This tool basically allows you to review and revoke your token approvals for any depth. For more information, you can click over here, the knowledge base article. Basically, what this is, is it allows you to know what of the platforms you've actually given access to your money to. 
So over here is my wallet address. I'm just gonna click over here. This is not my day-to-day -day wallet. As you guys can see, I haven't had quite a bit of um, interaction with this wallet, but you can see I've given USD, USDC access to the DYDX platform. This happened sometime last year. And as you can see over here, it also mentions what is currently at risk. So thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to check out more of our other videos coming up soon. Let's also keep in touch. If you want to head over to our social media platforms, most importantly, if you're part of the crypto community, you definitely should be joining Crypto University Discord page where we share a wide variety of information, trades, copy trades, NFTs, and a whole lot of knowledge base that you might not be able to get on our YouTube channel. So make sure to click and follow us on Discord, and I'll see you guys there.